Um, I'm not a huge response video person, but I watched a video earlier today and it really sort of sickened me to my stomach. So I have to Star Lab's goal to, is to keep uh, our allies equipped with the oh, most advanced technologies. Too loud. Oh, 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 there we go. Um, yeah, I decided to do a kinder response video. Even though I doubt the person in question is going to even uh, care who I am. Being a, a hum... Well, in, in uh, her words, uh, all white people seem to be total scumbags. I am actually t going to talk about uh, Munro Bergdorf. Even though that's not how you spell Munro, but uh, I'm, I'm sure that Munro's actually the last name, and uh, it it doesn't sound like a genuine name. It sounds like it's been an invented sort of like a stage name. So um, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm I'm highly pro uh, LGBT people mainly because I'm bi and um, part of the reason why I am so ugh about what this trans woman says comes from that because um, you know I'm pro trans community being um, accepted well my first actual um, gay sex was with a trans well she called herself a t-boy this was back in like 2001 so you know the names of things completely change I've been told that t-boy is now some sort of slur thing but at the time you know her being uh, Asian I think she was from either Thailand or the Philippines or somewhere like that and uh, you know I, I helped her with luggage at the hotel. This is in Ibiza. And um, cause, cause see, she was struggling with it. Um, so, and, and we basically just got friendly. I saw her again at the swimming pool. We were chatting, you know. Um, we had a, an equal love for Stanley Kubrick movies. And... Um, you know, it sort of turned into a romance, and and you know, I I I didn't know that. Well, she she was trans till you know. It came to um, <laughs> well, it it came it came to us being on the beach, me being a bit drunk, um, and I. It just pops into my head. Why should I care? That doesn't really matter to me. That um, she was uh, basically um, born a man. You know, it, 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 I I found her more of a a, a woman than mo some women I've met. So uh, I wasn't really that bothered. Um, so it, it, it really does pain me when there's people being put forward as like, um, the, uh, but pe people who, who say and do things that Superman just turn speaking. my stomach Given your past work, I using know you're the racism. One to handle this situation. Um, marginalizing a whole group of people in creating drones than hijacking trucks but that's just um, what they're doing in the metropolis it, I, I find it they're attacking star labs in a way that, to steal mass um, payloads of exobytes you know we if, if Those it, it are doesn't help the cause at all because then people can say well look at Run! this group they all hate us, help us. and that's really you not how you turn people back towards um you know, basically turn people to your side to, to say that, you know, sexual organs... Well, unless we're going to walk around naked, you're never going to know 
um, a trans person is um, a, a, a man or a woman. I, I've met trans uh, from um, female to male, and I thought they were men. Um, man, we you know, I I wouldn't have known until unless they told me that sort of situation. But um, it it does annoy me when you've got people. Well, it's people like Milo Yiannopoulos. I think Milo Yiannopoulos is actually a cancer on the um, LGBT community. He he says incredibly stupid, poisonous things are completely unnecessary. Uh, you know. I, I'm probably a, a minority with the skeptics so who think so mad about Milo, even defending him when he's so totally in the wrong on things like, well, that whole, whole thing with Joe Rogan and, um, because, uh, well, the, the, there was the whole, uh, think you can grab some of those thing. blasting scepters from the hive what, stingers? They're loaded with neurotoxin. You know, I didn't really care and about his claims of the more um, scepters we can get, the more likely we can work up a defense. His, um, Please hurry. We need his, those stinger uh, scepters to analyze the, the, their the toxin. The priest is skilled. It, it, it sounded like bullshit. It, it sounded too too much like someone who was trying to get attention by saying Take something to over the top. Hive. You know, it, 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 it didn't, it felt artificial, but it was the stuff when he was with Joe Rogan, where he the was saying that he went to Hollywood parties, and there were, um, there were twinks there, and they were all very young and all that, and I was like, well, you're a journalist who prided himself, because he did pride himself, on exposing paedophilia. But he wouldn't give any Hollywood names, which meant that I, I, my personal view is it was either more bullshit that he is basically a oh, bullshit, or the events didn't happen, he was trying to get attention, or the final one was that he just um, knew that those people would sue him and uh, that was the reason why he um, was uh, wanted to stay quiet about that subject but it a lot of it did sound fake a lot of what he said so you know I I'm I'm not an for? expert on the, stuff the like um, so wonky at the moment. I don't know uh, feminism. I find I feminism very help. confusing Her personally because I've always been an egalitarian. And uh, my view is that you know you, to do you help everyone. You don't selectively help today. one group in a society. It, it, it seems a bit stupid to me to, to just focus on one. People, but, you know. And it, it also lead to, um, well, my, my theory about um, what is gradually happening with society is we're returning to something akin to the the pre-French society for the pre-revolutionary society, where in our, our society now we have. Um, a massive number of people wh which I'd call aristos, you know, aristocrats who are super rich, they're above the law, they're above any form of criticism they've created a sort of shell around themselves of people who like Milo Yiannopoulos who will try and uh, muddy the waters into um, focusing on things that aren't relevant to um, draw attention away from greed. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a fan of greed. I find greed is um, a human aspect that 
um, I find very sickening. That does, that it, it, it hinders society. It doesn't help it at all. But, um, you know, I, I, I know that my views aren't going to win me uh, points with particularly right-wingers. But uh, my, my view is that um, a healthy society is a society where people are at. That there's, that there's not a massive um, gap between rich and poor. Um, unfortunately, that seems to be happening a lot. Oh, I've changed this look completely. Uh -oh. um, yeah, um, that seems to be happening a lot in society today. You know, you've got things like the 1%. Um, well, um, one of my favourite document documentary makers um, has Great. pointed out the, the massive movement. These will help of us analyze wealth. the hypnopollen's effect. Thanks. Um, in the the super rich category, um, have become ridiculously rich. There's people now who have more money than the other two thirds of the planet. You know, the, 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 I, I'm a fan of Amazon, but, you know, I think that they should be paying a lot more fucking tax. But, uh, you know, again, I'm not going to win, win the hive has turned the metronome points into a fortress uh, with right-wingers on that one. And spread their mind but anyway, getting back to the, 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 the uh, main point. Dispensers that, and tag um, the exabyte containers for pickup. i got Star some video here. There. I won't be putting it projecting it on the screen because um well i don't know how to <laughs> for a start. um but this is uh, what was on the telly i think it was this morning um and it was basically this monroe person trying to defend themselves Ho hopefully it'll come out on the audio What she's basically talking about there is religion. She's not talking about society because I've, I've been raised in a British society and I've never once been told by actual society that's the way that people have got to act. Right-wingers might think that and religious people, I'm talking about the, uh, the usually right-wing religious types. People who sort of uh, herald the Ten Commandments as some amazing piece of the information that only um, the creator of the universe can come up with. Even though it's a load of bunk, most most of the Ten Commandments aren't even laws, they're, they're uh, prescriptions that um, the followers have to adhere to. So, uh, yeah, basically she's, she's going for the bullshit angle here. But it gets quite funny, especially when Piers Morgan starts talking. Exabytes low.
It is offensive. Uh, the, you know, it, the, 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 the whole We've got idea a plan that weakened hives assault. Um, Mr. Luther has provided an override code acceptance that we can use on by its society if you can put is in don't say stupidly incendiary things that are going to, you know, basically turn the whole public against you. And, and this idiot um, has basically done that. And, and the most amazing thing is how she can't see that what she's saying is stupid. But somehow, society's all wrong and she's right. It's a little bit like the, um, well, it's the classic sh sign of someone who's an egotist. Looks good, Command. That they're, they're an egomaniac, that they believe that the whole of society's wrong and they're right. Because somehow group, a, a, a group decision um, is wrong. That the, the, the people are stupid when in groups. The locator beacon was accurate. Which is just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous concept. It's a ridiculous idea. I don't always agree with everything. I got into, um, well, I got into a Twitter war yesterday because of my disagreement on, uh, well, on ma mainly on um, how people shouldn't take law into their own hands. They shouldn't be gunning down people they don't like politically. Um, even if they are rioting, you don't pull out machine guns and shoot people. It's not the dumb thing. That's the sort of thing that Nazis did. And idiots like Batista, who pretty much started the, the communist revolution in Cuba because um, he was too stupid to realise that shooting a load of students wouldn't exactly go down well. Anyway, I'll carry on. Here's the ridiculous. Exactly. <laughs> the Hive has turned the Metrodome into a fortress to defend their stolen exobytes and spread their mind-controlling hypnopollen across the city. Take out those dispensers and tag the exabyte containers for pickup. Star Labs will take it from there. Bad news. Queen Bee's drones have LexCorp and Star Labs scientists hostage inside the Metrodome. We must free those scientists before she steals their minds and converts them into drones. All this stuff.
This is Luther to LexCorp. Keep the bugs away from my exobites at all costs. I'm sending in reinforcements to help beat back the hive, so I repeat, defend the exobites. Sacrifice yourself if necessary. Are we clear? Luther out. This is the, the, the crux of my problem. Um, this, this, well, I've seen this before. It's uh, an area of, um, well, it's called uh, intersectional feminism. And it's this assumption that everything's connected. It's like, a, it, it's amazing. It, it, it's very much based in part on the conspiracy theory that actually originated in Russia towards Jewish people. That Jewish people were somehow part of a, a massive conspiracy. And it was um, connected with this book called The Elders of Zion or something like that. Um, where it was used as like don't trust Jewish people they're part of a big conspiracy they're trying to take us take over the world and all that and it was total rubbish total bunk and it's amazing how claims from that load of old rubbish are in inter intersectional feminism intersectional feminism is very anti-semitic it's completely anti um, white people it's it's it connects together like a jigsaw puzzle everything every uh time that someone has somehow um been mistreated it's like a tapestry that that all white people are guilty of the crime even though it doesn't make any sense whatsoever Oh, that was a bit funny. Um, you know, but, but, but pretty much putting, um, connecting things like, say, um, Rwandan massacre being a result of Catholicism, which was brought there by white people. Right. Therefore, white people are guilty. And I'm like, no, no, no. It doesn't. The world doesn't work in those that way. And it's it's why, as a conspiracy theory, it falls apart under any sort of scrutiny. That you know, it's it. You have to believe. It's that listening believe bullshit. That you have to believe that um, every white person is secretly um, out to get women and gay people and um, even bi people like me um, it's it's rubbish it's it, it's the, the, the ravings of a lunatic um, you know the, the it, it's the sort of nonsense like the um, Christian conservatives who believe that um, that Christianity in America, Christians are somehow being targeted by um, who knows who, you know, uh, the Illuminati, whatever. And it's it's garbage. None of it's true. It's all um, based around the assumption that you know it's it's like a magnified version of victim complex. 
that somehow you're constantly a victim in society. Every time something goes wrong, someone's responsible for it. And that's pretty much the garbage that this um, woman's saying. And it's very toxic, and it, it doesn't help... Um, it doesn't help any community. It's certainly not helping the gay community. Uh, so much that the intersectional fruitcakes in um, Black Lives Matter have been trying to turn the gay community in Canada against um, bad news. Queen uh, the police have LexCorp and Starlab scientists because, hostage inside the Metrodome. We must free those um, scientists before she steals well, their minds. I, I don't even know why. All I can assume is they want um, the gay community and the police to be at each other's throats because then they'll be able to virtue signal and say, Oh, isn't it terrible? Why aren't the white policemen respecting... Uh, gay people and I'm like well they were respecting it you stupid idiots you, you, you're you the ones who are trying to divide it all up and that they, they've done stuff like block gay pride meetings they're basically being heat seekers anyway let's carry on My squad was infiltrating the Hive's defenses when we came across LexCorp troops looting the place. They fired on us. We gotta round them up before they cause more trouble. You can start with that guy over there. You should come too. Conspiracy theory. The drones kept in <sighs> Go, what a load of rubbish. Exactly. My rights. Dispatch, we're recovering the exobytes by any means necessary. hears about this, you're going down. Hive mind transmission. 
Ensure neural devices. This is what's Always really funny. I think it was um, o Omegun or whatever his name is, uh, my fellow Cthulhu. <laughs> um, yeah, um, he was saying that it looks like L'Oreal didn't really check up on some of the crazy things that this um, person said. Um, you know, the, the, there's a lot of blame whitey in her Facebook profile, spoken. Um, you know, he said if you, 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 you want to have a good laugh, you should sit down and go through all the Facebook pro posts because it's pretty obvious that they screwed up. They Thank you. brought on uh, someone sure who is completely, um, well, it's basically a fruitcake. Um, much like um, people like Millennial Woes is a fruitcake. You know, they're, they're just from a different angle. You know, I, I, I have never been a fan of Marxists because a lot of Marxists on there have been pretty bonkers. Um, you know, they, they say stupid things. Um, I'm pro socialism. Uh, I I don't like seeing waste. It was like um, one you. of my views is that um, uh, people shouldn't have uh, homes that they don't live in. You know, you shouldn't have sort of uh, five completely empty houses Everybody when there's a housing for shortage for, for particularly working people. Um, you know, I had to wait on a waiting list for my flat for seven years. It, 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 you know, and it, it did cause friction at home when I was with my mum and stepdad. So, um, you know, that's as far as I go social, socialism-wise. Um, I like uh, things like the welfare state. Um, I believe that taxation well, time. is like a ever necessity the and everyone should be taxed. Um, it, I, it was one of the, the major points that I had a sort nice. of disagreement with the Liberal Democrats when they um, took you a percentage of people out of tax. I didn't really Although like that idea it, we all need to be working together. I thought it was a bit but we'll save that dumb. Fight for another day. But for now, uh, it was the hive's main power generator. It was, so you it was can get a policy that I could understand really where they were coming invasion. from, but I just I didn't agree with it. I thought it was a bit stupid. But um, you know, I often uh, are told that my ideas aren't always uh, popular. Right. But um, yeah, this is all in. This is intersectional rubbish, basically. This is lots of uh, stupid, uh, illogical um, conspiracy theory that, that somehow all men are. Well, it's funny because I I quite like. Um, um, Milo Stewart, I think that she's, well, he, because uh, I, I, I prefer calling him, you know, uh, supposedly um, Milo's on um, hormone treatment, so I suppose he is a he now, but, um, oh, what's going on? Um, what was I saying? Go oh yeah, ahead, uh, there is an element of uh, how intersectional people don't actually realise how when offensive hears about this, what they're actually down. saying. That, um, you know, somehow all of society is this terrible evil that... Um, 
that people within it don't recognise. That seems to be the crux of the intersectional mindset. And it's it's just it's you want some bollocks. Of this? It's rubbish. That um that somehow there's a conspiracy rights. against a, a group of people and it, it it's codswallop, it doesn't make any sense. Um, it's it's as nonsensical as the sort of garbage that um, Alex Jones talks about, about the Illuminati, about they're, they're, they're purposely making estrogen in water to make uh, make all men gay. But it's it's social engineering on a massive scale, and it's just twaddle. It doesn't make any sense. It, it, it's it's illogical because um, if they wanted to put hormones in men to make them gay, which there's no real scientific evidence to back that one up, because um, well, I I'm part gay because I'm bi. But I don't find effeminate men attractive at all. I find masculine homosexual men attractive. You know, um, uh, tough guys and things like that, and uh, bears and leather daddies and things like that. That's that's the area of homosexuality that uh, I prescribe knows you're to. Working for Star Labs. Um, so it, it it falls apart when they go, oh well, it's turning men into women. Well, um, the reason why gay men find gay men attractive isn't because they act like women. So it sort of completely destroys this argument that it's estrogen. Well, it, when it's not, mo most homosexuality is a psychological process. It's not a biological process. Because one of the treatments they used to have for men who were homosexuals in the UK um, was uh, chemical castration, which is pretty much um, giving men hormones that turn them into a woman. Supposedly Saudi Arabia has a similar type of thing. But uh, if it turns out you're gay, they make you have surgery to make you into a woman. Um, and it's funny because a lot of stupid intersectional idiots have um, assumed that, oh, well, this means their state is good. It's helping people. Well, a lot of gay men, like I said, don't want to be women. They, they like being masculine. They, they get turned on by masculinity. But, um... It, it's... You know, I, I'm egalitarian, I'm not a feminist. Then it's one of the reasons why I don't understand particularly third wave and intersectional feminists. Um, they just seem to come across as people who think they know what they're talking about. But when you actually listen to what they say, they come across as people who haven't a clue that they're 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 sort of treading water with word salad to sort of try and make their points come across like you know we should be listening to them. But most of the time they say things that are so ridiculous and badly thought out that you just go, well, what are you talking about? But uh, I'll get back to the video. Oh, yeah, I've just got to see the annoying thing about super speed. You can't always see which way up you are. There's another one here, but I just can't see the bugger. Let's go climb up the walls. Ah! Well, he's, some, he's somewhere up there, but I can't... I 
Can't get the camera to point the right way. If, if I could be a superhero, I'd want to be like the Flash. Super Speed's always been uh, my favourite superpower. Oh, I can't see him. Get up this pillar. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll get back to the video. It's almost ended. Well, that's bullshit. That is a absolute and total bullshit. When I was at school, we were taught about the British Empire. We were taught about all the things like the Red Fort and um, the slight overreaction and bad reaction of um, British colonialism, particularly when dealing with... Um, the, with uh, Gandhi and wanting to break away from um, from uh, the British Empire. I also remember being at school and we watched Cry Freedom one afternoon. So this is this is just bullshit. This this is um, a dodge claiming that something's not happening. Therefore, racism. Again, the conspiracy theory twaddle. Um, it's rubbish. It's, it's, the, this woman seems to delight in victim culture. In being the victim. That somehow her saying stupid things that are extremely insulting means that somehow she's the victim. It's the cry bully thing, the the uh you know, everyone's being mean to me after saying something really toxic and stupid. You know, some people can possibly get a pass on that. I I exobytes to brainiac you know a lot of people were pretty mean to Milo Stewart after her first sort of big um, viral video where she basically pulled out the whole Anita Sarkeesian, all white people are racist, all, all um, heterosexual people are uh, homophobic. You know, that, 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 that sort of twaddle. But I don't, like I said, I don't think that she was, um, what is this? Hey, she realized how offensive that was. Alpha that somehow, um, we've reached the Queen Bee's chambers. She, she, she sort of got the wrong end Keep of the stick that, you know, people aren't all racist, homophobic, misogynists. Watch out but, for her. Um, oh, you know, the you know there are people fallen. who are completely accepting. My I uncle P is a he he's a real uh, old school Labour Party Marxist, and he's totally against homophobia and Hi, transphobia and racism. You know, I I unfortunately became a little bit not racist. I was right wing. Um, I got caught up in the whole Milo uh, Yiannopoulos thing and uh, my dislike for um, Hillary Clinton sort of made me 
uh, switch more and more right till he pointed out, you're talking like a right winger. And I didn't even realise I was doing it. I thought I was being, you know, um, a sceptic and all that. But um, it's an easy trap to get in when you don't... You can't sort of think outside the box you're in, outside the bubble. So you um, end up defending people who you wouldn't defend in any the other form of circumstance. Overriding directive. Bring the exobytes to Brainiac. Bring the exobytes uh, to Brainiac. Almost down here. Bring the exobytes to Brainiac. Guards, protect your queen with your lives. Show them who's born. Destroy the intruder. Supposedly, um, L'Oreal drops her, like, uh, um, a, a ton of, uh, dead fish. <laughs> pretty, pretty quick. Oh, 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 no, 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 shut up, no. Bloody, oh, I skip thing. Yeah, they, they, they dropped her like a bad habit, mainly because, as uh, Omegan was pointing out, um, the L'Oreal sell the the most hive. of their products to white women who want to look good you because they, they're I. under the misapprehension you that um, makeup makes you beautiful. No. You know, it, it can uh, embellish what beauty but it can't really create it watch out that pollen will control your mind down damn it but uh yeah i i, thought, I think basically what she said was Surrender. stupid now. it's a stupid thing to say and apologizing would have been the best move but being in that Such intersectional nigger. bubble it's not going to happen. It's going to be um, a, somehow a conspiracy against everything she says because she said offensive things. But somehow, intersectionally, that will be down to white people's misapprehension in what she said, which is bollocks. End. Now active. But, uh, yeah, a little, um, at, what's really annoying as well now is she'll be used as like a um, used by the right wing as a way of hurting everyone else who is um, LGBT by sa saying, "Oh well, look, look, this is what they really think about us." And it's not. It, it, you couldn't be further from the truth. You know, I, I know loads of um, gay people and that they, they'd look on this and laugh. Being pretty swanky now. Well, no wonder I've taken so much damage and my, my equipment's fucked. Hey, hey, hey! No, no, that's nothing. Whew! Oh, what's this? It's another nothing. Alright, let's get 
back to headquarters. I'm sounding like David Bowie. <laughs> yeah. Now we know Brainiac is in control of Queen B. Well, I, I, I actually got a nice message from um, another girl who the end. But if she doesn't, uh, follows me and follows in touch. The, that and alley woman. Superman out. Um, which is quite nice. You know, um, was completely... I was surprised as well because, um, you know, there's some people who I know all sort of not follow me anymore because they like her more than me unless she turns on them as well and starts yelling like a complete maniac but uh yeah ah shit still get me back to the police station quicker Ooh. Know, what the weird thing where you wake up too early and you can't get back to sleep this morning. <sighs> I wish there was a device, like a machine. Like, well, I heard it in one of the, it in a Doctor Who story where you could just get into, like, a pod and sleep for 20 minutes and feel like you've slept for, like, well, in my case, 20 hours. <sighs> the bane of my life for insomnia or being too tired or so, sometimes I get so tired that I can't sleep it's like you know I'm like it, I've seen babies get that and they go they're, they're crying because they're just exhausted and they can't they can't nod off yeah, my, my, my niece used to get that a lot. And she'd spend up, end up spending the night crying. So now you're the hero-sized bug zapper. I remember my, nice. my uh, brother in shouted at me soon. when um, I was uh, over there a couple of years ago. And um, I went to the toilet because I, I sleep downstairs at my sister's because they got like a sofa bed. And also, they don't want me upstairs because I have a tendency Star to Lab's snore. Star Lab's goal is to keep our allies so, equipped with the um, most advanced you know, technology. being a bit of a fatty, I snore like a, a sort of <laughs> wildebeest. But, um, yeah, my niece Keeping was your crying. Keeping good working order makes um, all the difference, as well as making sure you've got the latest, I, I, gear. I went into the bedroom to try and comfort her because she was really howling and... My brother-in-law comes and says, what the fuck? I said, well, she was crying. She cries all night. She's a baby. I'm like, well, uh, oh, okay then. Well, I didn't know. Heads up, there's trouble in the Tomorrow District. Circe's bestia morphs are all over the area, which means Circe can't be far behind. Satana in the Chinatown safe house can give you further instructions. <sighs> Ugh. Yeah, I, I see. I got no children, so it's probably worse. I look young. <laughs> I look younger than I am. But um, yeah, it, um, I was quite shocked. You know, he said, "What, what, what the fucking hell are you doing?" I'm like, "Well, I, I didn't know. I thought she was crying because she was in pain or something." But um. I think he he sort of apologised the next day because you know pe people assume you know things when you don't know things. Um, it's like I, I've had arguments with Americans who assume things about me that you know sometimes they assume that I'm a communist and I'm like no. Well, uh, uh, most of that shit yesterday was, oh, you're defending Antifa. No, I'm not defending Antifa. I'm defending that you can't just turn up to a riot with a gun and shoot people. That's why we have police. That's why we have the rule of law. But, you know, 
Um, my 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 word doesn't count. My my uh, my point of view is wrong because of my reasons. You know. Uh, well, that that was the whole bullshit of yesterday. That um, it wasn't it wasn't a, a, a logical reason why I was wrong. It was lots of straw manning and claiming, oh, you hate, you hate the Marines. I'm like, I never said I hated the Marines. I just hate the concept of people turning up and shooting people. The fucking ridiculous. And then people kept pulling out, oh, well, what, what about in the case of martial law? I said, yes, but the president's got to notify that. And he ain't going to say, especially Trump, Mr. I, I want, I, I'm all ego, I want to be remembered for so and so and so and so. He ain't going to put out a law saying, oh, well, it's okay to go and shoot people at fucking um, protests. But, uh, yeah, yeah, lo lo lots of people being very, very stupid and... I, I think purposely ignoring the facts, um, you know, bit being obtuse on purpose, pretending they don't understand what you're talking about. Run for your life! All points. But uh, do you see her? I just, uh, I, I'm still aggravated the theater, over it. Using her cursed amulet to the you know, I've been blocked by people in the past who were dishonest oh, no. about their arguments, and it, it, it does get on your nerves slightly, especially when they strawman you and say hurtful and stupid things. Foul soulless walk among us, their souls crying out for freedom. Use the soul wells to summon the soul. Hey, got a shield to look a bit like Captain America. Completely uh, unintentional that I look like Captain America, but uh, um, you know, because this is DC and uh, it's the Flash. But, uh, well, I, my my character's um, hyperactive streak, because the idea is uh, that he moves so fast, all you see is the streak. Yeah, one of the few enjoyable things about the uh, X-Men movies, uh, the last two, which I I like elements of Days of Future Past, but it wasn't perfect. It could have done, it could have done with maybe 
a little bit more editing and a little bit more humour. It, it, um, but uh, salt and do that. Yeah, um, the one thing I did like was that whole thing with um, uh, Quicksilver, where he was um, uh, helping helping to rescue Magneto. Uh, it was weird because Quicksilver was also in the Avengers movie, but um, uh, not as prominent. And didn't really look like Quicksilver. But I don't know whether that was intentional or it was one of those deal things. This is Vicky Vale. But, um, Today on JLA Well, actually, Watch, the Quicksilver Zatanna, in the, the X-Men movie didn't really look magic, much like the Quicksilver in... A self-described um, spellaholic, the, uh, Zatanna relies on comics. spells said backwards but, to work um, her magic. For now, this show-stopping sorceress can be found with Dr. Fate, leading the Sentinels of Whoa, Magic, a new task force of heroes dedicated to fighting magical crimes wherever they occur. Oh, she's up on the roof. Interloper! Madam Day. Initiate field report. Broken into many tiny fragments, this soul requires extra care. So I wanted to play this hey, when thanks, uh, it first came out. It, it, Whoa, I think that it came was out dope. About, uh, 20. I think it was 2010, something like that. It's quite, You're like quite an old game. Hero. But it's so enjoyable, you know, being a superhero is like just one of my like, dream things. You're like my hero. Dope. Hey, thanks, dude. You will never defeat me. I have, to have some breakfast soon. I'm getting a bit hungry. I got some popcorn from last night. I went to see uh, the film Annabelle. Well, I didn't me. want to see Annabelle. I wanted to see Rough Night because I wanted to be cheered, cheered up a bit. You know, after you're like my hero the shit yesterday, and instead the the screening times were wrong, and I watched Annabelle, and it was Whoa, oh that was god, it's so shit. It, it it was it was boring as well as slow, and uh, you know I can understand their attempts at creepiness and all that, but. <sighs> It's much better using sound than vision when it comes to horror. Um, there was a, a hey, 19... Dude. I think it's 1960s movie called The Haunting. It was made into a terrible remake. But um, hey, thanks, dude. The, the original Whoa, was brilliant was because dope. it could only use sound. Which is far more effective than what they did in this movie. In this movie, basically, they're using uh, 
CGI. And it was just like, oh god, we've seen this shit before. You're like my hero. And it's got the slight demonic possession idea. You're like my hero. Um, you know, the the the, the family who uh, Whoa, they they want dope. their their child back after a tragedy. Hey, and, thanks, Steve. Um, they pray, but they think they're praying to God, and it's not Heads God. Up, it's trouble in the tomorrow it's district. a demon. Circe's beastia morphs and are all the over the area, which takes means Circe can't be far the, behind. Satana uh, in the, the Chinatown safe house can give you further and, instructions. Um, yeah, mate, I'm trying to leave. Stop shooting me. Oh, oh, I like her. Uh, Zatanna. Well, this is more the classical Zatanna. They keep changing it in the comics. So, you know, I I don't read a lot of modern comics. Um, I have given some of them a go, but I, I find that most of them are either too serious or, or not serious enough. And it's not just Amazon the SJW forces. stuff. The SJW stuff is like a side More thing. Help but, um, Get down there and stop Searcy. I don't really see how it, it blends well. Really, um, it's much... I, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the classic superhero story of someone who gains powers um, and then feels the necessity to help. That's my idea of a superhero. Not trying to alter society to being uh, feminist or, or um, whatever they, they're going to use. You know, add, add, add crazy idea here. Um, you know, I, I'm a, a fan of the honest hero. It's, it's why the older I get, the more I like DC over Marvel, because um, you do get the occasion... You get the occasional um, grifter-type um, superhero, like... Um, Cersei's beast diamorphs are running rampant in the Tomorrow District. Um, Wonder Girl went in to investigate, but I have not heard a from boost her the since. Gold is the classic Clearly, case is up to play. Here. <laughs> He's only Track really doing it for the fame and money. But I like Booster Gold because, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I like the idea that if if I was a, a lonely janitor working in um, a museum and I decided to the sort of travel back in time. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd do it. <laughs> I'd do it if it would make me like uh, Superman. Wonder Girl is in terrible danger. She's in terrible danger. Wonder Girl? She's always wanted the power of an Amazon princess. The I don't know anything about Wonder exactly Girl. That. We have to get to Wonder yeah. Girl quickly. You know, it get well. Supposedly, the the Wonder Woman stuff gets quite confusing. There was um, 
there's been multiple versions of her backstory, which doesn't really help. Like one of them, she was um, uh, made of clay, and another one, she was actually the daughter of um, Hades. It's uh, it's one of those things where multiple. Um, All Amazons will serve um, as you see. Concepts of the same character sometimes can backfire, but it's. Uh, Supposedly, the the um, oh gosh, I can't remember. The, w one of the big mistakes with a lot of uh, legacy characters has been um, writers who wouldn't really study <laughs> what the writer before Lane them at Daily Planet had been Live. doing. And Star Labs recently released the body swapping research of, of Dr. Uh, Doris Zool, also known um, as Giganta. Giganta, a known criminal, has the ability really to grow sense, to enormous actually, size because, um, and is the sworn enemy of Wonder Woman. Doesn't always, Star Labs um, said, quote, the they, they saw no it. harm in releasing the research since only a miracle would make it work. I'm Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Come on. Gives me blue glue. Yep. Hey, hey, hey! I'm wounded. I must fall back. Oh, fuck. I just bloody altered that. Bloody thing. Yeah, come on, get out of trace. Annoying. Right. Uh, now, where was it? Go. 
So join that group. Circe's beasts will know where Giganta has taken Wonder Girl. Seek out Lieutenant Pythia. She will give you something to loosen their tongues. I thought Wonder Girl was taking the front line. Ah, there it is. Oh! Ooh. It is not uncommon for them to engrave symbols of their conquests onto tusks and fangs. I'm the urban spaceman, maybe. Frame rate drop, right? I'm Jack Ryder, and you are wrong if you think the goddess Circe's bestia morphs all came from ancient Greece. You'll know different the moment Circe makes you her animal slave. That's right, her buddies, the bestia morphs, all used to be as human as you and me. You could spend the rest of your life as a rhino in a thong. Think I'm joking? You are wrong. That Promethean flame will draw the information out of those bestia morphs. No matter how the poor beasts try to protect their mistress. Those mystic stones? All this points to Circe creating a ritual to swap Giganta's mind into Wonder Girl's body. This is really big. Um, no pun intended. Help! I tell you nothing! I want you to tell me anything. I'm trying to get that. Oh. Rune. Rune. 
A rune with a view. Fall back. Expect no mercy. Kicking ass and taking names. Like I said, the, 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 this game is prone to bugs, I, I will say. One, one of the updates recently um, would cause a problem when you go into a building and keep falling through the floor. But it was sad that, you know, if you... If you um, Wonder Girl is in terror, it auto-saves your position. So if you... Turned off the application and turned it back on again. Um, it would, it would has sort Wonder itself Girl. out. You'll have the pleasant sound of me crunching popcorn that's about a day old. Mm. Funny, when I was a kid I used to love sweet popcorn, particularly um, toffee popcorn. But the older I get, the more I like salty popcorn. Very weird. Because you couldn't get salted popcorn for a long, long time in the UK. Um, I think my first experience of it was watching the film Scrooge back in uh, the 90s. Because it was my birthday and my sister, being a little bit dominant, we went to the cinema with my dad. And you um, must help Wonder Girl escape Giganta. She sort of decided what we we're going to watch. Not not me, because it had Bill Murray in it. It meant we had to go and see it. And really, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. But my 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 dad w would sometimes. <coughs> Play favourites with my sister. Basically, mm. some Enchanted men like their daughters to more than their sons. Especially if their sons are a bit of a weirdo like I am. It, it did hurt my feelings sometimes. I, 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 I felt like, um, you know... Uh, I, well, I've never been a fan of favouritism anyway. Um, my, my view has always been that you should treat everyone the same. You know, I'm egalitarian for the reason that I don't think that one select group should be treated differently from another, even if, they, if they've earned more money than someone else. So what? So what? 
I was explaining this on um, Twitter actually uh, to a girl um, who was saying about the Marines. Oh, the Marines are great. They're, they're only people. They're people who do a job. Yes, their job's dangerous. I'll accept that. But in the end, don't be putting people on a pedestal because this thing could aid the sentinels really, of magic's restorative um, incantations. You, if you go down that route of saying that one person is more important than another, eventually it will lead to something like what happened in Germany, Metro where a whole race of people were told, oh, we're better than everyone else. Ride the rail well. And then, uh, well, huh. The Russians proved that, you know, they weren't better than everyone else. Cersei, Sisyphean stones. It's funny when, when you have conversations about World War II. Most Destroy people don't even understand World the War II. They don't understand that the big winners Cersei of World War II were Russia. Power. Not, um... Not America or Britain. The British Empire was destroyed by World War Two. Cersei, we were made stones, virtually bankrupt. Amounts of magical energy. Destroy oh, that. Kill it. Yeah. That that bastard Minosaur normally fucking kills me. So. Like that, you bastards. Come on, come on. Whoop! Got two sons. in a minute because <laughs> I, I don't have a washing machine in my flat because really there isn't a room but um, there's uh, like a laundrette actually in the building which fortunately about three years after I moved in they uh, altered the machine so you didn't have to pay for it because at one point you had to pay 20p do the washing and I know 20p is not a lot but when you consider you're paying rent you know um, it'd be like going to a hotel and having to pay extra for things added to your bill and I'm like well you know I pay enough rent they should sort of um, and it wasn't good because there were a lot of the, um, my flats my flats originally were for old people and um, then, well, I was like in the first three people who were moved in who weren't over the age of 60. Um, because the Housing Association uh, changed their rules or they were encouraged to change their rules. I'm, not sure exactly what happened there, but um, yeah, they they uh, for a long, long time I was surrounded by old crusties who, if, if you're trying to get through the door of a handful of shopping, will stop you and talk to you about how bad the weather is. And so, yeah, yeah, that's great. It's great. I'm losing feeling in my fingers. Um, you know, I can understand why old people are that way. Sometimes a lot of them are lonely. You know, I, 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 I wish that they made a, a type of uh, Twitter for, for elderly people that was easy to use, you know. Um, because uh, old people get confused easily, like my stepdad gets confused. We got to a point years ago when they ha first got Sky Television and a DVD player and my stepdad would uh, rant and rave that he couldn't understand the controls. 
So I I wrote out a list of what to do. do I even something. put Tipex and wrote on the um, the actual controllers A, B, and C, so he wouldn't get them confused. And he still would get confused. It's the most maddening thing. One Christmas, I was over there, um, and he he said, "What are you done to the sky? What are you done to the sky?" Because um, uh, we couldn't get the sky to work. And I said, oh, "Well, I haven't done anything." Oh, you were messing around with a DVD player. Now we can't get the sky. And what happened was, um, he unplugged the sky to plug in some fairy lights. And he'd ranted and raved at me for like nearly two hours. Kept phoning me up. I had to walk around to my mum's, this was on Boxing Day, to fix it because he didn't know what he was doing. And I said, is it plugged in? And he was going, yeah, yeah, I'll make sure it's plugged in. And, uh, no, no, it wasn't plugged in. Because he'd taken the plug out to put in fairy lights. And then he begrudgingly apologised to me. It wasn't a, oh, sorry for um, talking to you like a piece of shit, accusing you of breaking things. It was, oh, well, sorry, uh, uh, I didn't know. But, uh, you know, fortunately, nowadays, my stepdad doesn't shout at me that often. Still shouts at me now and then, usually when he's grumpy. Usually when I'm talking about things that are real-world problems, like politics... But, um, yeah, he's a bit of, bit of a funny character, my stepdad. I always get the sensation that he, he is, uh, he finds me threatening because I'm cleverer than him. <sighs> But it's, I, I do quite enjoy seeing pseudo-intellectuals get their come up with this. One of my, still one of my favourite videos to, to re-watch is um, uh, the um, uh, Thunderfoot and um, Soul Run of the Pad. Uh, they had the um, wow. that bloke's got some pretty cool nails. Uh, yeah, they did uh, a stream about the Brexit, about the pluses and minuses of Brexit. And um, Carl thinks that he's clever than he actually is. Which is really obvious when he's next to someone who is cleverer than him, like Thunderfoot. You know, and the, the ridiculousness of the Brexit. How it's actually making people more poor. That the, the pound actually recently has gone lower than the um, euro. Which uh, means that if I went on holiday to Europe now, um, I'd have to have more money than necessary because my money isn't as valuable as theirs. Still, pretty soon the dollar's going to nosedive badly, so um, I may go on holiday to Florida. I am tempted. The 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 sea world does interest me quite a bit. Uh, let's 
change there. See if we've got any new clues. Clues. Oh, quite a lot of that. Uh, headwear. Hey, that looks cool. Clues. Looking pretty dapper. Right. To battle. Oh. Ah, not doing that because I could. For some reason, that girl there. Um, that mission. Every time I try and do it on loads of different heroes uh, it doesn't work properly which is annoying please help me out nice my squad is in there and who knows what that Circe person and her monsters have done to them I'd go in myself but I got a wife and kids Did not come from a quadrupedal bull. One of the weird things about my cinema is that um, they don't have Pepsi anymore, they've got the Coke. But um, they do have more flavours of um, Frosty Slash that I quite like. Especially like the lime, it's, nice. it's a, a nice um, sour lime. Um, but their popcorn, they, they do this thing where they put stuff in your popcorn. Like mini Oreos or... Um, uh, it, uh, pretzels. But they really don't have a machine for putting it in, so they've got to put little bags in. and Thanks. It doesn't mix all the way the through. I wish they had sound like a machine that they could just stick the popcorn and the pretzels in and it would balance out throughout the whole substructure because last night I had to actually have some help from one of the um, staff in uh, taking my food and my drink to the actual seat very nice man. You know. unfortunately I don't carry any cash on me anymore I, I pay everything by plastic so I couldn't give them a tip Hopefully each I was tempted to do my usual one hex. where I go, uh, never trust men with candy floss on their head. A sort of a joke about um, uh, Donald Trump, who is, without doubt, the, uh, on the most ridiculous person indeed. I've ever seen in my life. You know, I, I can be forgiving of people's appearances 
if they don't talk absolute crap. But Trump... Trump speaks the most ridiculous rubbish. I think the, 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 the weirdest thing that he said... And what made it worse was he actually repeated it. Multiple times he's repeated it. He said that he couldn't understand why they banned CFCs because, and this will really sort of slap in your head crazy. Um, he said that, um, what's back here? The Mirror of Narcissus allows us to discover Circe's plan to her vanity. We lost it in a skirmish with her beast you want to Giganta once wanted to possess my own body. Mm -mm -mm. Now Circe must have promised her Wonder Girls. Knowing Giganta, her greed and impatience will lead her to rush the ritual. Yeah, no, um, a mistake could condemn yeah, them both. Is CFC, um, because he used like it in his, his hairspray, which I think is bullshit, because I think he wears a wig. Um, Expect no mercy. And his whole point was that he's in a building. Like, gases don't, can't leave a building. If he was inside a submarine, maybe he'd have a point. Circe's beasts are at but my command. he's in a fucking Telling building. Die, mortal. Just, what a fucking idiot. You know, the, the, I was absolutely flabbergasted by what he said. Um, about the Charlotte thing. The both sides bullshit. No, what are you talking about, you fucking idiot? How hard is it for you to simply say, you know, um, I don't support Nazis. I think, um, white, right wing extremism is bad. You know, no, no serious person would say something like, oh, there were heroes in the Nazi party, or stuff like that, you know, during the war. There was much heroism. I'm just like, what, what are you saying, you fucking idiot? You know, it's like saying, um, I can't remember who it was. Um, some fucking moron in the the, the the American right wing who said that um, World War II all the victims should be uh, commemorated even those who were in the Nazi what? 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 so they're victims of something that they did this is fucking ridiculous you know, it was like the, the, the stupid thing where someone actually suggested that the 9-11 hijackers should have been included in um, the uh, commemoration thing at uh, the Twin Towers. I'm like, oh, what? You know, I'm lefty, but I'm not fucking idiotic. Be some sort of fucking. Well, I, I, initially when I heard it, I thought this must be a troll. This can't. Be. 
because I have I have been fooled slightly in the past, and I've seen actual YouTubers be fooled by um, uh, I think the hoes. Like um, there was um, a, a fake antifa group called uh, Boston Antifa, and um, I thought I I've watched their rewatched their stuff because it's so funny. Um, but it's really taking the piss. And there, there was Brittany Volante, who um, she fooled undoomed into um, coming across as an idiot. She's not, she's not as good. The I ultimate uh, Poe troll is uh, Casey Tron. Who is really funny. I just think it's a shame that she's on Twitch. She, she could be doing uh, Hollywood movies. Because she's pretty. She's very, very funny. Very, very dry wit. Um, does the whole Sarah Palin impression perfectly. You know, the um, dumb, dumb conservative girl bit. They took her deeper into the station. We must stay on their trail. Charge! You know, I, 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 I found her a lot funnier than a lot of um, American female comedians. I particularly like it when she's trolling idiots in the uh, comments that that really is funny because I, I I'm not a big fan of twitch I've tried to watch twitch streams but sometimes they just come across as um, like extended adverts and I know you will reach her trying we to sell trust you things you. and It is worth um, hunting around in your outfits because um, your your your, your uh, armor can actually take damage. So um, you know you want to. It, it basically it helps you. I'm saying basically again. I said basically about. 40 times in my You're stream with Tonka. <laughs> I can, I can the kept saying it and it's really annoying. Um, now yeah. I will transfer my powerful mind into Wonder Girl's body and the strength of the gods will be mine! Mm, nom, 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 nom. Ugh. That What's happening? Goodness. It's like you've got hooks in my mind. It's working! It's working! I feel her power course... Mm. No. But graphically, it's not is super duper this game, but I think they did that partially on purpose, a bit like um, uh, World of Warcraft. The graphics aren't like sort of super duper because um, it's to do with um, the uh, technology. Good idea to 
get me angry. When I get angry, I get elemental! But boing! Oddly, her uh, head's gone through the floor. Oh, there we go. That is one A class butt. Even that is at a funny angle. Whew! Back in my own skin again. You really don't appreciate how awesome your boots are till you walk around in someone else's. I'll take care of Big Bertha here. Thanks again. Ah, skip this. Let's see what we've unlocked. Super speed. Slow down. have quantum powers which basically has to do with time. I don't know from that much. Circe's plan to use Giganta and Wonder Girl has failed. Knowing Circe, she will simply turn her eye to other targets. But we will be ready for her. My thanks. We will speak again soon. I do a karaoke stream at some point because I do like singing, even though I haven't really got a singing voice. Quite nasal. One of the results of uh, prepare to take a beating from the unstoppable Captain for the Cruel. Backup. Captain Cruel, you no longer cool. been a load of uh, stuff recently on um, YouTube about demonetization. Um, it, well, De Devon Tracy, who I wasn't, I didn't get Devon Tracy for quite a while, um, and I finally understood where he was coming from, and I've been. Not a fanboy fan, but I do watch his stuff occasionally. Um, uh, you know, he, he he is being totally honest when he's talking on the screen. He's not he's not using any kind of socio or political um, uh, oh, what do you call it? Socio or political veneers would be the best description. That you know, some people don't say things because um, so you took Giganta. The they don't want they to upset are, their the political group. But Devon is pretty unique in that he doesn't give a shit. Ready for Which, more action? <laughs> A situation I was really is surprised about it. I, I thought that, you know, Speak to um, Dr. Sarah Charles at the 5th Precinct. Seeing lots of other YouTubers who do put over pretenses of um, being something they're not. Like Andy Worski. Jesus Christ, the amount of crap that man's come out with in the past week. It's... It... it 
it hurts the brain the 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 level of uh They all bought that me that. Um Yeah, he put out a I'm video sure I have something here saying that can help you. That Take a look. The gloves are off. That everyone involved in Google. Oh, I'm coming after you. Yeah, like a a multi billion dollar company is gonna listen to a YouTuber. You know, it, it it felt very much like little kids when they say, I'm sick of you, I'm going to go and live with someone else. And then about, that, that they sit at the end of the garden looking confused and not knowing what to do. And then the mum or dad will poke their head out the front door and say, um... Uh, dinner's ready, and they come running in, and then if if asked, they'll say, "Oh well, well, I'm going to go and find a family tomorrow." You know, it's a, it's all um, childish. It's uh, a child trying to um, fight against the parent, and it never works. My, my my one I used to do was when I didn't get my own way with my mum and my sister, I'd say, I'm going to hold my breath till I die. And I'd, go, and I'd be sort of trying and trying and trying. And in the end, I'd sort of just accept. Accept the inevitable. Showtime. The demon Trigon is rising right mm. here in Metropolis. I'll oh, get there when I can. Mm. Until then, think you can handle it? I call upon you as one who has been proven in battle. Dr. Fate's ward against Trigon has broken. Now Trigon's demons rampage throughout the Tomorrow District. The science police's but, powers um, are not yeah, enough. The, the, the Defend whole, against this evil... Um, Monetarization thing. I've never got one penny off of Amazon. Uh, no, I'm um, off of uh, Google. You know, I I don't do videos because um, I want money. I do videos because I want to meet people. I want to ha have friends. I want to talk. You know, I I I've got. I know people at work, but a lot of them don't get the internet at all they don't understand YouTube they don't they don't get um, ironic or surrealist humor and those are the people I wanted to meet on uh, YouTube I've met quite a few on Twitter particularly Swedish or Norwegian priest I've seen very this old thing, silly like scroll has been infused with the power of lust and the occasional one of Trigon's sons. Trigon's evil energy is manifesting in dark orbs. Bring them to the circle of purification cast by the science police so they can be neutralized.
Trigon will be released. I call upon you as one who has been proven in battle. Dr. Fate's ward against Trigon has broken. Now Trigon's demons rampage throughout the Tomorrow District. <sighs> the science police's <coughs> powers are not enough. Defend against this evil and hurry. Well, I think I'm going to end this Trigon there. is using his daughter, the Titan Raven, to spread um, his foul energy. Then he will destroy her. Check on Both some she washing and the city are do, doomed huh? unless we stop Trigon now. So, uh, Find his demons on the rooftops and destroy their dark conversion vortices. Yeah, I'm on late from tomorrow, so hopefully um, I'll probably do an hour here, an hour there. Because uh, I understand, you know, you got to keep doing videos if you want any full, sort of attention. Or maybe a big flame wall. <laughs> maybe I should call the Amazing Atheist. Um, a traitor to bisexuality because <laughs> he hasn't got a boyfriend and a girlfriend actually his girlfriend's really nice I, talk to her I work for Madame Xanadu's magic shop in Metropolis we try to keep demon horns in stock for white magic rituals yeah, I, I did. She, she was saying the other day about you know, her hair colour to be different and, um how expensive it was and I said ah oh, well that's the patriarch <laughs> oh my god the patriarch a load of old crap ah too many side missions Where's the green ones? I need to kill the green ones. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake, where are they? You will succumb to Trigon's might. Trigon will be released. Um, a computer game series I really loved on the old um, PlayStation 2, and it was the Soul Reaver Legacy of Cain sort of series. Anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm going to run up on top of this building and then uh, save. Save my game and end the stream. If anyone wants to talk to me, I'm on um, Twitter uh, at the downspace poffit p o f t uh, f i t uh, downspace h c. 
I won't tell you what the HC is for. It's uh, it's not hardcore. <laughs> anyway, to be hope. Right. Um, and the theme. And the theme. 